Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we're going to talk about two contemporary fiction books that I just read. Uh, one of them is called Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. The other one is called Kind of a Big Deal by Mary Ann Marlowe. So the, let's first talk about uh, the fact that both of these books are the are in a series. Get a Life Chloe Brown is the first and uh, the other book, Kind of a Big Deal, is the second or fourth, depending on how you count it. And we'll talk about that in a little while. So Get a Life Chloe Brown is a book that I had been hearing a lot about. Uh, people seem to rave about this book. And so I got really interested and picked it up. It is the story of a girl obviously named Chloe. She has two sisters and each sister will get a book of their own coming up. So I really want to read, I think, uh, Take a Hint, Danny Brown is the second one. So anyway, Chloe comes from a well-off family. She has fibromyalgia, she's plus size, she's African American. So right off I was like, yeah, I'm done with this character because I as well have fibromyalgia and so I feel like I can really connect with what this character is going through. I am also plus size. Uh, so she works from home. She is a consultant and she builds websites for people. Uh, so she has decided to move out of her parents' house because she no longer wants to deal with all of that that goes on with her parents. family. And uh, she moves to a neighborhood that's not the best. And she uh, makes friends loosely with her, not landlord, he's like the superintendent. Um, but he doesn't like her and she doesn't like him and they kind of have this love-hate relationship and so she kind of stays away from him. You know, she she doesn't really like to connect to a lot of people because of how her body is and how her life is. She has no energy. She just kind of like lays on the couch sometimes and because she can't get up. And do I ever... <laughs> know what she is going yeah. through. So that really hit me um, until one day she finds a kitten in a tree and she is compelled to climb up the tree and get the kitten down and then can't get down herself so he has to help her and then they strike up this whole friendship relationship thing. And she has a list and it is a bunch of things on her list that she wants to accomplish, really push herself towards. And, uh, you know, there's things like go camping, travel the world, uh, have sex with a stranger, like a one night stand and not have it matter, do something bad. That's one of them. Um, and so she's trying to tick things off the list and this guy ends up helping her tick things off the list. I think one of them's ride a motorcycle. So that's like the first thing she does and he has a motorcycle, of course. Uh, so first off, let's talk about the cover. As you can see here, it is so cute. Yeah. Um, it is like, uh, a cat and a plus size girl like uh, hello <laughs> I, I like it's really simplistic nature yeah it's so cute and cartoony it, it really is uh so what i really liked about this book really is i mean like i said it's the main character for sure mm -hmm. you really connect with her a lot mm -hmm. in, in personality light what is she like in personality because that's that's going to be kind of a determining factor about whether i would enjoy the book or not i think well uh she is kind of a sarcastic person okay. um one of the things i will bring up this is a contemporary romance and there are some steamy sex scenes in this thing that i was not expecting not that that was a deal breaker but i was just kind of like whoa hey <laughs> that happened <laughs> um, okay. yes so there is that about the book um but i really i just really enjoyed the writing i thought it was really easy to just get in there with the characters and really feel for them, including the sisters who you didn't really see a lot of. You got the feeling of the type of people they were from the beginning and that really made you want to read the other books that are coming about them. And I think that that was where the author really was successful in this, you know, to, to make you want yeah. to read about the other characters, like from the get go. So yeah, definitely I gave this book four stars. I am getting yeah. the second book and I'm reading it because I liked it a lot. Now let's talk about Kind of a Big Deal. This is by Marianne Marlowe. So I mentioned that this was either the second or fourth book in the, uh, in the series. So basically what she did is she has two books in this flirting with, I think it's like flirting with 
famous or something like that. The first two books are not the same storyline as the second two books, but they're all in the same horror series, okay? So the first book of this storyline really is book number three in the series. So that is kind of famous. And I read that one and did a review. You can uh, find that. The actual review should be on my blog somewhere. But this is the second book. So it follows this band that uh, was mentioned in the first book. And this is about the lead singer of the band who everyone thinks is like this player who really is just in love with his high school sweetheart and doesn't know that he has a child uh, from her. And so he keeps trying to get back with her and she's like, no because in her mind she knows that if she gets back together with him he's gonna be out on the road all the time and she has the child she doesn't want the child to be abandoned but he at the same time is feeling the uh frustration and the exhaustion of being on the road all the time and being part of a rock band etc so he's not really sure he wants to continue but of course they are talking to each other so yeah whatever. Uh, this book was a little a little different for me to read, to be honest. Uh, I really thought I would like this book more than I did. Unfortunately, I, I liked the book. I thought the story was interesting. There were some things that happened in the book that I wasn't really prepared for or didn't see coming, which I thought was was a great surprise. But for me personally, I just didn't like it as much as kind of famous. Uh, and I thought that the characters were less likable than that book as well, and that was kind of disappointing to me. I still really like the writer's uh, writing. I like I like her a lot. Uh, I will continue to read books by her for sure, but just in this book I think it was kind of a miss, and I wasn't really excited about it, to be mm. honest, after I read it, and that made me sad. Yeah. It made me very sad. Um, but, you know, if you are a big fan of, like, contemporary fiction and you like something that you just kind of you know you can read and you don't have to think about it and the world itself can just float away then definitely for you I gave this three stars just because you know I still think it was a solid read it just wasn't as great as I was expecting it to be from the first one that I read. So thank you so much for watching our review of two contemporary fiction novels um, and I hope you stay with us make sure you subscribe and until next time stay zany. Bye bye.